you have entered the Chronix rabbit hole. And Roger, Mora, Thiago, our favorite metal family across the sea, thank you so much for your donation request. And you are bringing something that we have heard down the rabbit hole a couple times by the name of Unleash the Archers, a Canadian band themselves. And the song today that we are doing is Tonight We Ride. Thank you so much, Mara, Rajay, and Thiago for bringing Unleash the Archers back down the rabbit hole. I'm so excited. Thank you all so much for your write-up as well. And we know this is Mara's choice. So let's see what Mara has to say about this. All right. We've seen that you have reacted two times before to this Vancouverian band, which are actually from Vancouver Island, Island, Victoria, which is where we are from originally. That was the island that we lived on before coming to Calgary. So that's really cool to show the connection there. All right. Um, and we know that we want to see them live. That's what they were saying. So it looks like you're giving us a live one potentially. Nice. Please do so. Or you just want us to see them live. This video is not live, but shows the <laughs> clip in Mad Max style. In this masterpiece with awesome riffs, Britney Slays just demolishes your ears by producing sounds that reach the stratosphere. Incredible. And this is Mora's comment specifically with mouth gaping, gasping. We've seen Britney live in September at the Aryan concert, and she truly was the star of the show and blew our ears. Yes. That is crazy because when we did the Aryan interview, he also said that Britney Slay stole the show. So we're excited Absolutely. to have Unleash the Archers come back down. Thank you so much, Mara, for your pick. I can't wait to get into this hometown band that is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm so happy that they're coming down the rabbit hole after it's been over a year. Yes. <laughs> We're so excited to get into Unleash the Archers. It has been over a year since our last reaction to this phenomenal band. If you guys are as excited to be here with us, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what your favorite song or album from Unleash the Archers is in the comment section below. I can't wait for this. I can't believe it's been over a year since they have come down the rabbit hole. Shame on us! Well, finally, time again. Thank you so much, Mara, for this suggestion. Here we go. Hey, Tom! Ooh, yeah, Mad Max already. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, these are awesome rooms. so much to take in so fast there but what i find really impressive and i know this isn't live so maybe she's a bit more animated live and i don't mean this in a negative way at all but 
with that power of a voice coming out, I was expecting her face to be more contorted and having to like look like there's more effort to get it out. But she looked like she was just so relaxed when she was yeah. doing it. And it looked like it was just like no effort, totally flawless. And I can see why even watching that is like makes it even more incredible because to watch that belt coming out and she's like just doing it so casually it's really awe-inspiring to watch and then it like is. you're saying these guitar riffs are just so intricate so many little fills and just little gold nuggets to love about this song absolutely and I, and it is a very mad max feel oh it's straight like, up. it's straight up mad max <laughs> and this would have been such a fun music video to to shoot and yeah. to be and like to be, be part in of it. yeah and like Oh my god. And yeah, you're right. It does look effortless when she's belting like that. Totally. Her voice is so powerful. Yeah. That is unique it, too. It's very unique. Because it's not like a soprano, right? It's different style. No, it is a different style. And I don't I don't know the actual uh term, ver- for, it? term for it. So yeah. if you guys know, definitely let us let us know so we can learn a new term. Her range is crazy. But her range is crazy and just the power behind her yes. belt and, and it's like she stole the show with Arian too. With a bunch of with other good singers and artists. Phenomenal <laughs> singers and artists. So like, that Brittany, oh my god. Your like, last name is true. You slay. Here you slay. <laughs> waiting so long oh, no. <laughs> we're so silly oh my god i have something to confess after this is done after i'll, <laughs> I'll say it after we're done you got but, anything you want to say before we finish this oh my god that like that solo was insane yeah yeah that solo was absolutely insane felt like a back-to-back solo it did <laughs> it was like it's like it came in and then I was like, wait, we're at a solo. Oh my god, here we go. And then it was just it was a whole whirlwind. And I like, man, this is such intricate music that it is. it's it was more than what I was expecting, honestly, going back into it because it's been over a year. And so it makes you wonder why has it been more than a year since we looked into the band when they are this good? It's probably because they're a Canadian band, so like y'all think we should know this band already, but we don't. We're yeah, foolish. That's true. <laughs> Everything in Canada is just American pushed. So <laughs> this that's why I have something to say after, but right now, um something else that is kind of just funny for me. Everyone has these badass like big bass guitars and these guitars and stuff and they look like intense, but then for some reason the drummer looks funny because like they're in all these amazing big 
outfits and then he has these little sticks that he's hitting with and they just don't look very like powerful or anything it, compared to these big metal things it doesn't fit the mad max yeah. theme that you're expecting because so it's just a it drum just, set it makes it, him look a lot bigger with like the same little stick and it, yeah. it's just funny for me to like maybe you'll see it next time now maybe we will when they, when they zoom in but uh it's it's this is incredible So good together. y'all they are so good um the thing i just i'll get it right off um the thing i wanted to say during this and i might have said this already um i've had so many chances to see this band yeah i had like probably five chances to see this band because obviously they're from vancouver island that's where i grew up and when i was starting to watch concerts um i would watch stuff in vancouver or in victoria and mm -hmm. they would always come to victoria because clearly why That's would they not from. um they got the support there so but because back then i was one of those silly billies that didn't listen to bands that had female singers because i was just that was i couldn't do it for some reason so i stayed away from them mm -hmm. and then i always had my friend kyle who was like oh my god i just got to see britney again like she's so hot oh my god and like i just remember him <laughs> gushing about britney for like years and years but then also about just like the guitar work because he was a guitarist as well just mm -hmm. like they, they have everything the best singer the best guitars like Kyle, oh, you would love them and i just never gave him a chance so always watching them and like you said in the your write-up, it's like you, you want to see them live. And I really want to see them live because I know I could have seen them live many times. So that's my guilt there on top of just enjoying this incredible song. Yeah, the song was absolutely incredible. And I like when you mentioned the drummer there saying about like how the sticks look really small because he's got these giant shoulder pads on. Yeah, yeah stuff, that's what right? I mean. Right? But when you mentioned him... It even made me start picking up the drumming and what he was doing more as well he was because I was ass. looking at like kind of looking for that big shoulder pad. Right. And um he was kicking ass. Oh yeah. Like that beat that he kept up that whole time, that double bass, he kept that up that entire song, which is very mad max to have that heart rate Definitely, up as well. Because you're riding the whole time. Because you're riding the whole time. Yeah. But he kept it up so perfectly that it almost like blended like an expectant because of the mad max theme yeah. that you didn't think so much about it but then when you brought up the drummer and you start th listening to it specifically then that helped highlight it's like, it for you more it helped highlight it for me more because yeah. i was like oh my god he's been doing this double bass the entire time yeah like so then it kind of fades in the back especially when you're yeah. focusing a lot on the singing and the guitar at the beginning Absolutely. as well which we were so that it's yeah. hard to focus on every single thing, especially right? when every single band member is so technically sound. Yeah, big time. It, it like not even bringing up the basses. We haven't even brought up the bassist yet, yeah. and like it's funny because a bassist. We've mentioned it before. When a bassist is doing their job like perfectly you don't always bring them up as much because they don't stand stand out all the time. But when the bassist isn't there. 
you notice. Oh, totally. You, right? you do. You do. And so like the, the bass work, be it like with the percussion and with the bass guitar on this song was mm -hmm. like perfection. It was absolute it perfection. Was perfection. Sorry. I think for me too, because we're not drummers or bassists, I think that's something just knowing moving forward, we should almost try to focus more on because we're, yeah. we're really good at hearing the, the singer and the guitar almost just like, subconsciously Instantly. even where like you we might need to think more about the drumming and the bass and i think me moving forward just having this conversation makes me want to focus on that stuff more absolutely because like the drum and the bass line those are those are like the foundation when you're getting into like it's, it's extremely important it's extremely important and so like i really like that's just why i loved when you brought out up the drummer so much mm -hmm. because even though I was looking for the tiny little sticks that you had mentioned with these big shoulder pads and I did see it when they zoomed totally. on him again <laughs> um but then also just how well he was moving with those giant shoulder pads mm -hmm. and how much he was putting into the music totally, totally. while still being so stoic in his presence mm -hmm. like it was but then also he was screaming and singing along with everyone so he was still animated but so he was a very unique um character in Definitely. this mad max performance uh, um with the as the as the drummer and with britney britney just slayed oh my god her vo <coughs> <laughs> and britney we've talked a lot about britney but oh my god her voice she just slays like oh my god it's one you have to hear live and i bet it is a game changer when you do and if it did it for Aryan and for all of you, Mara yeah. Thiago and Rajay, when you went and saw her, that's so cool that she stole the show and she is mm. from our hometown. So we hope we stole your heart today. And if we did, you can hit that like button if you want to be part of our family as well. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button before you leave because we are now exiting the rabbit hole, folks. And we hope it doesn't take another year until Unleash the Archers comes back. Yeah. And we might want to go interview Britney Slays. Why not? Absolutely. Let's go reach out for her. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Brittany would be such a phenomenal uh, person to come on to our channel. Like, Hell yeah. Oh my God, I Petition can't wait. For that one. Thank you so much, Mara, for bringing Brittany Slays and Unleash the Archers back down the rabbit hole. I can't believe we took so long to get back to this band. Like so much talent, so much beauty in their performance. And I can't wait to even see them live. So if you guys want to let us know what your favorite live song or from them is, let us know in the comment section below. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care and bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me A Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you all so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you had a good time and you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss the next one, here is a very easy way that you can make it to our next one by hitting the subscribe button. If you liked what you heard on this video and you want to support this artist, then an easy way to do that is going right here. And I think we have a really good video for you right here that we think you will enjoy. Thank you all so much. See you next time.